The other numbers that we got over the last one hour was the Rani Ports. It was a little lower than expectation, but let's listen in to what the CEO Karan Adani has to say about the company's performance and the road forward. I'm pleased to announce APSCZ has delivered its strongest ever half yearly performance during H1 of FI24. I'll provide some highlights on the H1 gone by. Firstly, on the port business performance, cargo volumes have jumped by 14% year on year to reach 203 million metric tons. APSEZ crossed a significant milestone of handling 200 million metric ton of cargo in just 181 days, surpassing its previous record of 212 days. Eight of our ports recorded their highest ever half yearly cargo volumes. Mundra port alone handled 3.6 million TUs during H1, which is 15% higher than its closest competition. Given our focus on improving operating, uh, operational efficiencies, port EBITDA margins recorded an increase of 220 basis points year on year to 72%. We are on track to commission India's largest transshipment port at Wisingham by the end of FY24. The construction work at our WCT port in Colombo, Sri Lanka is progressing well. The port has also received funding commitment of USD 553 million from the US International Development Finance Corporation. Talking about the logistics business, the logistics vertical recorded its highest ever rail and GPWS volume during the first half of FY24. Rail volumes increased by 25% year on year, 2.3 million TUs, while GPWS volumes increased by 42% year on year to 8.9 million metric tons. During H1 of FY24, APSEZ added 11 trains, Loni ICD, and two warehouses to its portfolio. Now let me discuss the financials. Consolidated operating revenue for six months ending September 23 increased by 26% year on year to reach Rs 12,894 crores. Whereas for quarter two, the revenue increased by 28% year on year to reach Rs 6,646 crores. Consolidated EBITDA, including Forex for six months ending September 23, increased by 49% year on year to reach rupees 7,429 crores, whereas for quarter two, the EBITDA increased by 27% year on year to reach rupees 3,664 crores. The profit after tax for six months increased by 33% year on year to reach rupees 3,881 crores, whereas the quarter two, a PAT is at Rs 1,762 crores. The profit got reduced by Rs 455 crores due to the MAT write-off corresponding to the past years. This write-off has happened as APSCZ, based on estimated future profits, has elected to switch to the new tax regime for one of its subsidiaries, that is Adani Krishnapatnam Port Limited. 